Hi there owls, welcome back to Jung Media, the channel where you can learn about software automation, technology in general and marketing. It's a pleasure to have you here. Today we're gonna start a series of videos about uh, Cypress.io, which is a, a popular test framework <laughs> these days. And we're gonna start working on it. Uh, honestly, I'm not a pro at this technology, but together we're gonna start working on this. We're gonna start growing this technology together and we will see how, uh, how it goes. So uh, today we're gonna start uh, installing Cypress and then we're gonna write our first test. Basically, I'm gonna be based on the official documentation of, of Cypress to get this uh, done correctly. And what do you need to start working with me and follow up my steps? Basically, you just need to install Node.js in your computer and you just have to come to this particular URL, Node.js.org and you will have to click on the LTS version of Node. Basically, you just have to click here, install it, and once it is installed and you want to make sure it is installed correctly in your computer, you just have to open up the command prompt Scribe down npm dash v and you will see the version of the npm package the, the package manager installed on your computer and if it responds with with a version it says or it means that it everything is working fine basically so it is fine so let's continue you just have to have note and then you just have to download your preferred visual or actually your your uh, i'm sure your preferred um text editor uh, right now I, I have Visual Studio Code, you will see the, the UI of Visual Studio Code. So if you want to try it, you just have to come to code.visualstudio.com and download it for uh, Windows or other platforms if you are not Windows, right? So yeah, um, once you have uh, those uh, technologies in your computer, you just have to follow up my steps to get Cypress working as expected all right what is the next step how to install cypress uh, in your computer all right so the next step will be to create a folder in somewhere in your computer no matter where actually i'm gonna create one in a particular place that i have which is your media automation and over here i have uh, the projects for example for selenium and test cafe that i have created for you in past videos so i'm gonna uh, create a folder here named Cypress and inside of Cypress uh, I'm gonna create uh, a folder named Cypress framework for example I'm not sure if what the name put right mm -hmm. and over here I'm gonna uh, once this folder is created I'm gonna open up this whole studio code to uh, open the the folder where what that I have created recently. It was located at the media automation Cypress, Cypress framework. And that's the, the, the path that I want to define to have my Cypress uh, project, right? Once I have this uh, set, I'm gonna uh, open up the terminal in the Visual Studio code, which is located at uh, this, uh, the um, right bottom corner of, of the Visual Studio code and then we just have to click on terminal right once this is done I'm gonna run this particular uh, command npm init to create the, the basic structure of a project based on npm it's gonna create a package.json file which is gonna contain all the stuff required to start working on it all right so I'm gonna uh, create the package name. It it uh, suggests me to have the default name, which is Cypress Framework. The folder name that I have uh, defined uh, before, I agree. I'm gonna let the default name, and I'm gonna create the version one. The description will be Cypress Project for beginners like me. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna create a test command. No, not sure of why. I have I haven't defined a JIT repository for this project, but I will. Uh, you will have the uh, repository URL at the uh, description of this video if you want if you want to clone it, and just go ahead and create your tests. All right. Uh, the key, the keywords will be end to end tests, uh, Cypress, automation framework. Not sure 
uh, just keywords to identify uh, my project and the out and the author will be John Media for sure. The license will be the default one. I see. I'm gonna. Um, it is asking me if this is okay, and I I'm gonna. I agree. Actually, I'm gonna write down yes. And as you can see, it has created a package.json folder at the uh, in at the under the folder. All right. <laughs> It has all the stuff that I have uh, defined, for example, the, the name, the version, description, uh, the scripts, keywords, author, license, etc. All right. So once this is done, once I have the package.json uh, set and working as expected, uh, the next command that I have to run will be the one to install Cypress in your uh, project. All right. In this particular case, I guess that it was something like npm install Cypress. All right. And if you want to uh, install it as a, a dev dependency, you just have to add this, uh, this line and it should be uh, start downloading all the necessary stuff you need to start working on Cypress. As you may notice, uh, you. Uh, we don't have right now uh, node modules but after running this command it created that particular uh, folder and all the stuff needed to uh, to run cypress in your computer right also if you notice we have another um, key and value over here which is dev dependencies and we have cypress installed in our project right so um once this is done, once everything is installed in your computer, um, the next step will be um, running Cypress uh, for first time, the test runner. And I'm gonna uh, just copy uh, this concept in, in the official documentation, I guess. Let me just take a look at it. There is a script that we may create uh, in our project, which is... Um, this one over here I'm gonna just place a comma over there and I just created this script which is Cypress and open it is gonna run the Cypress open command once you uh, execute it so once you have this done you just have to come and write down npm run Cypress open and there you should there 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 you are we're opening uh, the test or actually the Cypress uh, test runner, all right? It says that um, we have added some folders and example tests to your project. Try running the test in the examples folder, blah, 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 blah. All right, once this is done, as you can see here, this is the uh, test runner UI that we have for uh, for us to run tests and do a lot of stuff, uh, control the settings, runs, and the test in general. Basically, we over here can uh, select the the browser that we want to use for running our tests. In this particular case, I'm gonna work with Chrome. All right, and that's it. That's how we can install Cypress. It's pretty pretty quick, as you may notice, and and that's it. It, it is uh, very quick for sure. <laughs> So the next stage of this video is how to run Cypress and I'm going to use the official documentation to cover um, a basic example of this, all right? So uh, on the, under the folder Cypress integration, I'm gonna create a, a, a um, folder, all right? I'm gonna, I'm sorry, folder, no, uh, actually a file named um, let me see how, how we can name this. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's name a sample under, under a dash spec that JS, right? It doesn't have anything special, but we will use the basic example that um, Cypress provides, which is this one over here. Right, I'm gonna copy and paste it over here. And as you may say, uh, actually see, we have uh, the basic structure of a test over here. Um, so let's start with with basics and where everything is, uh, or why this syntax is uh, 
the main structure of a test. Basically, uh, Cypress uses uh, Mocha and Chai, which are two um, libraries, actually external libraries that people use for uh, test automation frameworks um, based on JavaScript. So Cypress decided to have them included in, in the in the environment and the ecosystem of Cypress. So, for example, describe and it are part of Mocha and expect is part of Chai. Uh, describe basically um, will define test blocks that have something in common between them. We can have multiple uh, describe keywords nested if it is necessary, right? And the word it that we have here is the test name basically that's how we can define a test or actually name a test all right and then we have the word expect which is pretty similar uh, that, than the one we have in test cafe it works pretty similar if you haven't seen that uh, tutorial it is okay but basically uh, if you want to get more context uh, about uh, this structure we can have a future video, of course, of how Mocha and uh, Chai works because it is part of the scope of uh, Cypress. It doesn't mean that we have to use both. Uh, if you want to install other library to have assertions or a structure, we are uh, free to do it, I guess. Cypress provides us that opportunity. So once we have said this, basically this test doesn't, uh, does, does not do much, but it will help, help us to see how a test works. Let me just show you, um, all right, let, let me just show you this line. Um, the expect uh, will have a true, which is the, uh, the actual value, right? And it is gonna um, be compared with an equal, with the expected value. It is a kind of assertion that will display or actually respond with a, with an approved or a failure depending on the result. And it should be um, displayed in some way in Cypress. So let's see how we can run this, this test. Basically, you just have to go to the runner, Cypress runner. And uh, as you can see, the folder was added over here. We just have to click on it and it will open up uh, the browser and basically uh, at the left of your uh, of your screen you can see that there is the first step that we have declared it, it is a kind of lock that uh, ha we have to uh, have tracking of what has happened as you can see it says that it uh, the, the duration time it says that one test pass no 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 test uh, has failures or have failures actually and uh, that's it that's the the only uh, assertion that we have here we haven't opened uh, a url or something like that but it was a kind of test to see how it works and as you may see it is currently working and actually running if we may uh, want to uh, do some tests or actually came uh, change this for false and have a failure we can do it i'm gonna save the project and as you can see um the browser and actually the test has identified the changes and it um, refresh and the changes that i have done are uh, well um, reflected in the browser all right so as you can see in this particular case i have a uh, return an assertion error because true it, it's not equal to false for sure so that's a, a main uh, overview, actually a, a general overview of how, of how we can uh, run tests. But I think that we can uh, have a, um, a quick real test cafe, I'm sorry, a real uh, test scenario, all right? And that's it, I guess that in a future video, we will have an introduction uh, with theory about how Cypress works. I, I want to uh, make sure that everything is clear in theory with uh, Cypress documentation. I just wanted to uh, give you a quick overview of how to install Cypress, how the test runner works, and how the, uh, the code uh, looks like right so i really appreciate you look this video you watch this video and if you wanna uh, be on track if you wanna keep learning more about cypress please subscribe to this channel please let a comment in the comment uh, section below 
and I'll be more than glad to uh, well uh, answer your questions if it is in my hands and if not we're gonna uh, work together as a community to get everything resolved and the idea of these videos are to um, to show you and learn together right so thank you very much again for watching the video i hope that you enjoy it i hope that it helps you to get an introduction of this amazing technology hope to see you soon see you soon <laughs> and goodbye